after a crash like in Indonesia. You don't wanna ride again. This is super, super. Whoa! Wow! Oh, unbelievable! That is a shocking crash of Mark Marquez. It was one of the biggest high sides in the history of the sport. When I start to fly, from that point to the end, I don't remember anything. So why did that crash happen? And more importantly, how can a crash like that be survivable? We're going to forensically examine those five seconds to work out why. Ow! Ow! You know, it's the most dangerous crash you can have in MotoGP. That initial impact, just one second after the high side, is 27.59G just crushing him into the tarmac. The high side is where the rider can have the biggest injury because these bikes are very, very fast. So this is what it would be like if he didn't wear a back protector. You think you've got a brand new, fresh tyre that's going to offer you all the grip in the world, but that's not the case. As you leave the seat, you almost immediately feel the, the airbag deploy as you're floating through the air upside down. The eye sight for uh, the rider is the worst crash. It happened so quickly. Start waiting for the impact, it's the worst bit. Because everything suddenly goes into slow motion. When you fly, you think, hmm, I have to go down also. And this is bad. This saying, it'll do whatever it takes, but Mark Marquez will. That's all part of what we're witnessing. This is MotoGP, science of survival.